Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? As you know that we are on chapter number 5 and exhibition and we have completed its uh, uh, reading with translation. And today we are going to solve its exercise. Students, as you have studied the first one, cha chapter number 4 and this is page number 22. Uh, activities uh, and the first one activities answer these questions. Number first question is given here. Where did Mr. Kazi take his class for a trip? The heading of this question may, may be uh, the place of trip. So the answer will be uh, Mr. Kazi took his class to the exhibition for a trip. Question number two. What did Mr. Kazi ask Akbar? As we have read in the translation that uh, uh, what Mr. Kazi, what is the question of Mr. Kazi? So the heading will be question of Mr. Kazi. Mr. Kazi asked Akbar what he had liked best in the exhibition question number three what did Akbar like best in the exhibition Akbar liked the paintings best in the exhibition now look here question four what did Rizwan like best in the exhibition and why uh, we will uh, write down the answer that we have uh, come to know from the chapter that Rizwan likes the rock best, ro rocks best. So uh, the answer will be, he liked rocks best in the exhibition. He liked rocks because rocks collection wo collecting was his hobby. Now we move towards the next one. What is Sadiq's hobby? Uh, so a uh, hobby of Sadiq will be the heading. Sadiq's hobby is picture collecting. Uh, question number six what is your hobby so students you have to write it out that what's your hobby is actually and everybody have a different answer of this question because everybody has different interests and likings so uh, you describe your own hobby that what you are uh, uh, like to do in your free time so this is question number seven why exhibitions are important so students you have to give a good thing about the importance of exhibitions that uh, what exhibitions do for you and why these are important to you so the heading will be the importance of exhibition so exhibitions are very important for public because they give them important information about collection of things that are displayed there uh, so students we get a lot of information so this is all the activity of uh, answer the, these questions now we uh, move towards the next one Look here, present perfect continuous tense uh, about the description of because we have learned in this chapter present perfect continuous tense. This tense is used to talk about an action or actions that started in the past and continued until recently or that continued into the future. Uh, I have given you that uh, uh, we can differentiate between this one with the other tenses because some uh, time phase is given uh, to you. Uh, like example is given uh, he has he has been working as a reporter with his, this newspaper for five years so students you have to use the since or for to complete these sentences uh, as I have told you earlier that uh, whenever there are uh, a definite time given to you you have to use since like the time is uh, uh, clear that uh, from like eight o'clock from uh, uh, 1999 uh, from Monday uh, and uh, this type of words are given we use since and if and uh, uh, the time is given which is not clear to you like four hours uh, uh, which four hours we don't know we uh, four years we don't know the which four years so we will write four in these blanks uh, first one is my mother has been sewing clothes dash eight o'clock in the morning so eight o'clock is an exact time is given to you so we will write down since here Number two, Noshin has been going to school dash four years, for four years because which four years we don't know the we what we, we don't know the exact time that is why we use four in this blank. Number three, my friend has been reading dash three hours, for three hours because which three hours we don't know exactly. I have been sitting in, at this table dash early morning. Early morning is the time exact time so since will be used here. My father has been telling stories dash the last two hours. Uh, so which two hours we don't know. So we will write down four here. She has been doing her homework 
dash four o'clock in the afternoon. Four o'clock time is exact time is given here, so we will write down since in this blank. I hope so that this is quite clear to you. Now we move towards the next one activity. This is part C. Uh, fill in the uh, uh, fill each blank with the opposite of the word underline. Example. Uh, uh, we have to give the opposites of the word which are given in the here and first one example is given to you we are going to paint the front and the dash of our houses definitely the opposite of the front is back so we will put here back uh, we will uh, we are going to paint the front and back of our house so moving towards the next one page we have to complete this uh, bl these blanks with the opposites now students look here uh, he was dash when his cousin came but sorry when he left sorry happy he was happy when his cousins came but sorry when he left father will sell his old car sell and buy and buy a new one uh, he tied the dash length of the cord to the long one long short the opposite of short will be uh, we have to write down here number four the girls was quiet were quiet in the school but very uh, the opposite of quiet is talkative but very talkative outside five five years ago he was dash now he is very rich the opposite of rich is uh, poor uh, five years ago he was poor number six my watch was five minutes fast fast and slow yesterday but it is slow today number seven if you dash your toy, nobody will be able to mend it. Mend, the opposite of mend is break. If you break your toy, nobody will be able to mend. Now look at fill in the blanks uh, with appropriate articles. Uh, my grandmother likes articles. You know that uh, A and R, the are articles and uh, you uh, have to use uh, properly. My grandmother likes dash flowers very much. Uh, uh, and the uh, no uh, none uh, will be used here uh, my grandmother likes flowers very much none article should be used the fourth one option is right dear car goes 150 miles dash hour an hour h is uh, a consonant but sound is loud sound so we will put an article over there i always listen to dash radio in the morning I always listen the radio in the morning. The definite article these will be used here. Question four statement: If your mother working in dash old office building, is your mother working in the old office building? The article will be C option is right one. Where's USB drive I lent you last week? Where's the USB drive I lent you last week? The article will be used here. So some comprehension uh, type of activities are given to you in E part. You went with your school teacher on a trip to a park. Write a sequence. What you did on your uh, visit to the park or, uh, in a paragraph. Use the sequence uh, markers first, next onwards. Write about your visit. And write a letter to your friend telling him about the exhibition that recently held in your school. So these two are the compositions. And you have to first you have to write down some paragraph about the uh, activity about a trip to a park or somewhere else with your teacher and classmates and uh, second one you have to write down a letter to your uh, friend uh, about the exhibition recently held in your school so this is all this is the uh, chapter number four and its exercise and i hope so this exercise is quite clear to you and you have to learn it very well okay students take care of yourself Allah